Good evening, fellow planeswalkers. Uh, today on Magic MTG Card Collector, we'll be uh, busting open these three packs. Now everybody knows because the last few videos I've done with the Core 2020 sets, I don't like, I don't like this set. I don't like this set. This set is not, it, this set makes me not want to play. I don't like this set. I've been playing for 25 years plus, and uh, yeah, I don't like this set. There, there is so much that I don't like about it. Now, there's a couple of good cards, granted, but yeah, I, I'm just not not a very happy camper with this set. But since I only got three packs, I'm going to go into another one of my uh, uh, Oathbreaker decks. I'll bust into it in a little bit, and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. So let's go ahead and bust these open. Hopefully we get one of the good cards. You know, I I would still like to get a low of this field. Um, uh, Sauron. I think I'd like to get a Sauron. But yeah, of the other cards, I'm really not that impressed with it. I mean, I'm really not that impressed with this set. So this set is not the greatest for me. It's dead. At least they're keeping the pirates. Warden of Evos Isle. Pattern Matcher. Oh, it says when enters the battlefield, you may search library for a card with the same name as another creature you control. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle the library. Okay. Yeah. Gauntlets of Light. This one I actually do like. Two and one, enchant creature, gets plus zero, plus two, and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. This is the card that kicked my butt. Um, it was put on an ox, and the ox became flying, and yeah, it kicked my butt. So... It's actually a really good card. And then there's Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. That's not a bad one. For one and two, uh, you get a four toughness Planeswalker. For zero, put a loyalty counter on each red Planeswalker you control. For zero, creature, or sorry, create two on one red elemental creatures tokens. They gain haste. Sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. And then, of course, negative two, you may cast target instant sorcery spell. Uh, or sorcery card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard. If that card would be put in your graveyard, this turn exile it instead. So she's not bad. She's better than the, the yeah, she's not bad. Huh, go figure, huh? There's the other, there's the uh, novice pyromancer, the one I was saying that is not that great. For four, you get a five elemental so you control, you get plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Negative one, add two red, and then of course negative two, which you can instantly do because she's only a five tough since Chandra deals two damage to any target. Okay, yep, you do. Yep, you do. She'll go in my planeswalker deck. Or Planeswalker book. Fencing Ace. Let's separate her. Uh, it has double strike. I actually like this one. For two, you get a double striker. Dragon Maze. When Dragon Maze deals combat damage to a player, you may, or each player dis, uh, discards their hand, then draws seven cards. And I don't know if I want my opponent to have seven cards. And brought back. This is the third brought back I have. Choose up to target permanent cards in the graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. And then a foil overcome. Uh, three and two creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. Mm -hmm. 
you can see why I don't like this deck, this this uh, set. I mean, I really haven't gotten any good cards at all. Even the what was that called? The uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. The bundle, yeah, the bundle. Uh, I didn't get one mythic. I mean, it was it was sad. It's a video. It's like two videos back. Go watch it. But anyways. If you like my content, please feel free to share it with your friends. It's how we grow as a YouTube community. Also, hit the thumbs up and the like button. I'd appreciate it if you did. Hit the down. Let me know that you don't like something. If you don't like it, leave a message down below. I do like the artwork on the new murder. I was getting tired of the old murder. I will do like the, the new artwork. It looks cool. It makes you feel like you're playing a new card. Howling Giant. It's not bad. i got an idea for that one. Hmm. I'll put that one to the side. Diamond Knight. Kind of cool. Works with Diamond Mare. Do, 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 do. Vengeful War Chief. And then... Masterful replication for six. Choose one. Create two three three golem or colorless golem artifact creature tokens, or choose target artifact you control. Uh, each other artifact you control becomes a copy of that artifact until end of turn. Could be cool. Ooh, and then I did get a foil forest. I'm actually excited about that one. I do like foil for foil lands. Do 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 do. Okay, so let's go into the. Uh, the brawl deck real quick because I like my brawl decks I'm working on this one it's kind of a, a stolen idea I know a lot of people probably are using the idea um, don't care I don't play brawl very much so it is a uh, werewolf and and wolf deck let me find my brawl my commander she's in here somewhere Arlen Cord Two, one red, one green, Arlen Cord. Uh, loyalty of three comes into play until end of turn. Up to one target creature gets plus two, plus two, gains vigilance and haste. Um, negative zero, put a two, two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, then transform Arlen Cord. Transforming Arlen Cord. Still a three, three loyalty. You have to remember that. Unless you upped her the last turn. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample and until end of turn. And then negative one, Arlen em embraced by the moon, deals three damage to target creature or player, transform Arlen Cord brace embraced by the moon. So that's kind of cool. Or negative six, you get an emblem with creatures you control, have haste, and tap this creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. So then of course, that's the commander. So your specialty, uh, the specialty spell is Moon Mist, uh, one and one green. Transform all humans, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn by creatures other than werewolves and wolves. So it's kind of a fog, unless you're playing an, uh, uh, a mirror match, which would suck, but it's kind of a fog. Um, but you get to transform all your humans too, so it only costs two. And you're going to use it at least once or twice if you have her out. You're going to use it at least once. So there's her emblem. Got to have her emblem. Lands, plenty of lands, Temple of Abandoned, Cinder Glades, Trail Games, Sheltered Thickets. I'm going to uh, put the, I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, Shockland. Got to have the Shockland in here. I don't have it in here. Um, Call of the uh, Waxing Moon. It's a human shaman. It doesn't transform. When a permanent you control transforms into a non, into a non-human creature, put a two-two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield. Um, whole purpose of this one was just you get a five-four human shaman, but because of the ability, you get two-two wolves. And you'll see why later. Moonlight hunt as an instant. Now I don't remember if I've broken this down yet. Totally, I might actually have extra cards in here now that I think about it. Um, yeah, moonless hunt, hermit of the Netter Knoll. Hold on, R give me a real quick second here. I want to break the, uh, 
the deck down just real quick. I guess I should have done this before, but you know, hey, things happen. Do, do, do. Okay, so wolf token. Got to have a wolf token, right? Because wolf tokens are cool. Then I'm going to have all my spells that flip. And then all my spells that don't. And the whole purpose, I want to get that card out. Now, I don't remember if I've broken this one down or not. I'm not going to worry about it, but you can see the idea. This might actually be over 60 cards. I don't remember, but let's start off with the non... The non... Uh, transforming cards. So, Moonlight, Hunt, Instant... Target creature you control, uh, target creature you control, that, wait, choose target creature you don't control. Each creature you control, that's a wolf or werewolf, deals damage equal to its power to the, uh, to that creature. So, this is a great spell, especially in late game, if someone for somehow put down Emrakul or something like that, you can hit them, swing with a, a whole lot, and they don't do damage back, so it's a nice thing. Uh, Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild, of course, uh, negative one. I'm sorry, one and one red and one green. Creature spells you control can't be countered. This is an awesome enchantment. Why would I not have this in there? Because it makes my creatures not counterable. Non-token creatures you control have riot. This is awesome. Um, they enter the battlefield with your choice of a 1-1 counter or haste. So if you're going to put a wolf in play, at least give it the ability to attack. It's kind of like having a rabid dog. You might as well have it, right? Of course. That and this instantly, this instantly makes people go crap. I now have to get rid of that instant fast. So they're worrying about the instant. I'm sorry, the enchantment. Then if they're worrying about that, they're not worrying about you. Uh, Guardian project. Uh, this is an iffy three in one. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. This is great because none of the cards are going to have another creature name of the same card so it's like instant drawing every time you put a land i'm sorry a uh, creature into play um so it's it's kind of on the line of do i want to keep it or not want to keep it ireland voice of the pack four and two is probably one of the more expensive cards if i remember right um each creature you control it's a wolf or werewolf enters battlefield with initial one one counter which is great because we're all wolves 99 percent of them are wolves and then of course negative two create a two two green wolf creature token wait no right there uh, comes in as a seven, so you're able to do it three times and still have one loyalty, unless you have a way of boosting her loyalty. Um, Emmer Wolf, Emmer Wolf, uh, one and one red and one green has Intimidate, which is awesome. This creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share color with it. Of course, it has to be red, has to be green, or has to be red and green. No, it has to be red or green, one of the two. Um, other wolf and werewolf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Non-human werewolves you control can't transform. Non-human werewolves. So if you have a werewolf and it doesn't say human, it doesn't tra transform back. Isn't that beautiful? It's a 2-2 two -two, though. That's why you have this. Beast within. Two and one. Instant. Destroy target permanent. Its controller puts a 3-3 three -three green beast creature token onto the battlefield. That's nice. I mean, it's always a, a good creature. Good thing. Bow of Naya. This one's kind of iffy. Attacking creatures you control have Death Touch, which is great. But then again, it's an enchant or a legendary enchantment artifact. One and one green. Tap it. Choose one. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Or Bow of Naya deals two damage to target creature with flying. Okay. Or you gain three life. Or put up to four target cards from your graveyard on the bottom of your library in any order. I like the last ability and the first ability. The first two are kind of like, uh, okay. Howl Pack Resurgence. Enchantment. This one's great. This is, has flash. Each creature you control, that's a wolf or a werewolf, gets plus one, plus one, and trample. So this is a great combat trick because of the flash. Um, it lets your wolves, you know, if they're about to get killed, it lets them, gives them at least a one, one extra. And if you're doing it as a, you're the attacker, then it attacks for just one more. So you might be able to save some of your attackers at the same time, trample over. So, which is great. Cultivate, because why not? You need ramp for three, uh, search your library from two basic land cards, reveal those cards, put them into the battlefield, tapped and the other into your hand and shuffle your library. So one goes into play, one goes into your library. I'm sorry, one goes into your hand, one goes into play. Silver Fur Partition. 
partisan, sorry. Two and one green. Trample. Whenever a wolf or a werewolf you control becomes a target of an instant sorcery spell, put a 2-2 two -two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, which is awesome because you're just going to get a whole lot of them. Uh, full, full moon's rise. For one and one, it's an enchantment. Werewolf creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have trample. Sacrifice. Full moon's rise. Regenerate all werewolf creatures you control. Oh. <laughs> one of the beautiful things about this is I know it's easy to kill. Someone shocks it, you get a wolf, another wolf. Another wolf. Someone hits it with a, a lightning bolt, you get another wolf. I mean, sure, granted, this one's going away. But if, even if they kill off, you know, this guy, you're getting another wolf. You know, so yeah, they're going to aim for this one because every time they do it, they're going to get another wolf. But it's still, it's still cool. It's still cool. Uh, Gruel Signet, because you need ramp. And then, of course, Assembled Alphas. Whenever Assembled Alphas blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, Assembled Alphas deals three damage. Three damage to that creature and three damage to that creature's controller. So that's awesome. Um, let's talk about some specialty cards. I'm sorry, flip cards. Uh, got to be careful with the flip cards. Yeah, they, they, They're printed on both sides. Got to kind of be careful with the flip cards because... Um, the sleeves, if they can see through it, you can be actually, you know, they can say you're cheating because your sleeves are marked. So you have to get some dark sleeves. Dragon Shield are good sleeves. I don't really use them myself. I like holographic ones. But, you know, anyways. Hermit of Natterdale, two and a green. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, draw a card. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Hermit of the Natterdale. Um, so two, three. Transforms into... Lone Wolf and Natter Natternoles. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during their turn, draw two cards. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform. So, and he's a 3-5. Mondronin Shaman. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform her. She goes from a 3-2 into a 5-5, five five, which says, whenever an opponent casts a spell... It deals two damage to that player. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells, then transform her back. Ulrich of the Kraken Horde. Kralin Horde, sorry. Three, two, one. He's a mythic. Legendary creature. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, transform Ulrich. Uh, yeah, transform him. Target creature gets a plus four, plus four until end of turn. And then, of course, at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform transform him again, or transform him. Um, he's a six, six. He's a four, four, goes into a six, six. Six, six is Ulrich, uncontested alpha. Legendary werewolf. Whenever transforms into the alpha, you may have it fight target non-werewolf creature you don't control. And then, of course, at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells... Return them back to Ulrich, Uncontested Alpha. Or, I'm sorry, Ulrich Kraken, Kralin Horde. Uh, Afflicted Dis Dissenter. Afflicted Dissenter for 3 and 01. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform him. He goes from a 3 2 into Werewolf Ransacker. Whenever this creature transforms into a werewolf, you may destroy target. Artifact. If that artifact is put into the graveyard this way, Werewolf Ransacker deals three damage that artifacts controller. So this is a way of getting rid of artifacts. Um, begin your upkeep if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform the Ransacker. Karun Outlaw for one and two has first strike. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Karun Outlaw. Goes from a 2 2 to a 3 3. Terror of the Karun Pass, double strike, double strike. That's awesome. Uh, each werewolf you control can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. And then, of course, so it gives all the other werewolves menace, by the way. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform her. So. Breakneck Rider. This one's my favorite. For one and two... Of course, if, if no spells were cast, transform him. He goes from a 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three for 3 to a 4-3. Attacking creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, and have trample. That's awesome. And then, of course, if no one casts a spell, two or more spells, cast two or more spells, uh, last turn, transform him. Mayor of Avabruk. 
for one and two, it's a three, three. Other human creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's awesome because they're humans before they transform. They're still werewolves, but they're humans. They're not werewolf humans. So other uh, humans you control get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast, last turn transform mayor of a root goes from a two, two for a one, one for two to a three, three. And then it says other werewolf and wolf creature tokens you control get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your up, if your end step, put a two two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield. At the beginning of each upkeep, if player cast two or more spells last turn, transform howl, howl pack alpha. Do, do, do. Scorn villager, one and two. Or I'm sorry, two one one for two. Add one green to your mana pool if you tap her. And then, of course, at the beginning of your upkeep, if no spells were cast, you transform Scorned Villager. Scorned Villager becomes Moonscarred Werewolf. I like this one. Uh, has Vigilance. And then, of course, if you tap her, you get two to your mana pool. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform Moonscarred Werewolf. And then, of course, Gyre Reach Bandit. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Gaia Reach Bandit. She goes from a 3-2 for 3-2. Are you ready? And she has haste. 2. Oops. A 4-3. Whenever a werewolf enters the battlefield under your control, you may transform it. Which is awesome. So it comes in pretty strong. And then, of course, at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells that last turn, transform Back into Alpha. I'm sorry, back into Gyre Reach Bandit. Solitary Hunter. Three and one. She, he's a three four. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Solitary Hunter. I do have a couple of these in foil, that's why I'm showing them off. One of the pack. One of the pack. At the beginning of each upkeep, you see it doesn't have anything special, but it's a five six. And that's the beautiful thing if I think of this card. It, granted, it's only a four cost. It's a three four, which is nothing. It doesn't have any special abilities. It's kind of a bear. But this bear gets bigger so and harder to kill. So I do like it. Nope, that is the other deck I'm working on. Um, don't know how many are actually in there. I'll have to look it up. Remember, it's only, it is, it, oh, this card here. Uh, reach five and two when howling giant enters the battlefield create two to two green wolf creature tokens now it's not a human and it's not a wolf and it costs seven and it's five five but it has reach to kill birds kind of like it but it's gonna it would be a one well they're all one ofs but i don't know i'll have to play test them a little bit because he doesn't get any benefit to the other ones or from the other ones um, but you do get an extra set of wolves. So it goes from one to three. So, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. I'll kind of play with it and see how it is. Um, where did my wolf go? And the emblem. Arlen Cord is just awesome. You bring her into play. You know, everybody gets plus two, plus two. She becomes a four. And the next turn, you flip her. So you put a two, two in. Right? So she's a four. You get two, two. You get the tr transformer. Um, and it costs zero. Which, unfortunately, um, I have to look up the, the rules on this one again. Because I believe when she transforms, you still get to use an ability. Because this Planeswalker is different than this Planeswalker. So when she comes in again, because she exiles, exiled and comes back... Um, I think you get to use the ability again. So I'll have to look this one up. I don't really remember. But I believe I'm right. This one's going to get used a lot because the werewolf side is the stronger side. So you're going to be fogging to prevent damage, combat damage. But hopefully you'll have enough werewolves and wolves in play to, like, okay, they attack, you fog, and then you attack. You know, their next turn. Um, yeah, anyways. So, I'll play test with this and, and try it out and see how it does. It's kind of, I don't know. Giant Druid, I like it, but I don't like it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. Very much appreciate it. 
And if you could also leave a comment down below. I do like to hear comments and read comments and hear from y'all. Have a great day and I'll hope see you next week.